this is Kathleen from oldworldfarmhouse.com. I recently bought my first ever robot vacuum and I wanted to tell you what I think about it. I bought the, the Roomba i3 vacuum cleaning robot and I bought it refurbished from eBay because it was the number one recommended one on wirecutter.com. I like to use that site to kind of look at appliances and whatnot and they recommended that one and on eBay, it was a good price that I could afford. My other vacuum recently conked out, so I figured this was a good time to try it. So I've had it for about a month now, and I'm, I really like it. But let's get into all of that. So first, do robot vacuums really work? Well, the Roomba i3, yes, it does really work. It picks up an incredible amount of stuff. I, I get this kind of gross pleasure in like when I empty out its bin, I'm like, wow, look at all of that hair, a lot of my hair, unbelievable amounts of my hair. Um, cat hair, even though we barely let the cats in the house, it seems to find every little piece that they've ever shed while they're in here. Dust and dirt, I'm really impressed with what it picks up. Does it work on carpet? Uh, yes, it does work on carpet. The reviews at Wirecutter were saying it struggles more on carpet than on hardwood. I suppose, yeah, that's true, but I've been really happy with how it's cleaned our carpets. It gets this blue flashing light when it thinks an area is particularly dirty and it kind of like goes into turbocharge mode on it or something. And usually when it gets on my rugs, it does that. And I think they're looking really clean. It seems to be able to get a lot of dirt out of them. Um, I've been really pleased with how they look when the Roomba's done with them. Can the Roomba i3 clean multiple floors? Yes. Now, room in my house and we've got tile, we've got wood, we've got some linoleum, and we've got area rugs. And it cleans all that stuff really, really well. I've been really happy with all of it. You can download an app to your phone and have it have the Roomba talk to the app and then like tell it to do things remotely and map out the rooms so it knows the layout of different rooms. I personally have not bothered to do any of that. I kind of started to and then our Wi-Fi out here is a little dodgy so it wasn't really working very well and then I thought you know what I don't want to go to the trouble of mapping every single room either. Like it's a lot of rooms and I, I just want to like set it and go. I could see, anyway, okay, so so I don't do that. You can do that and I could see where that would be an advantage if you were away from home a lot. I'm actually at my house a lot so I can just kind of pick it up and set it in different places as it needs to be done. So that works for me. It, so yes, it can learn the floor plan, but if you don't want to bother with all of that because it is kind of a lot of work up front on the app and stuff, you can just set it in a room and it will bump around. It has sensors and so it'll bump around and find its way pretty well. What happens in my house is I will close, the way my house is you can close off a lot of doors and sort of like keep it contained in one area. So I'll like set it in a room and close the door and that kind of forces it to really go over that room. Every once in a while, it'll get confused and it'll throw out an error code that basically means I don't know where I am, <laughs> but you can just like push on off and set it down again and it'll reorient itself. And so I'll do that. And I prefer that to um, having to map out every room. I'm really happy with the job it does. If you do want to map out every room and you have a more open floor plan, uh, even if you don't want to map out every room and you have a more open floor plan, the Roomba will return on its own. It learns your house and it'll return on its own to its little docking station. And that way you don't have to worry about charging it because it's always going to be going to charge itself, which is really cool. In our case, we have the docking station in one room of the house. So if it's vacuuming in that room, it'll find its way back when it's done and dock itself. Otherwise, it just kind of stops in the room and I go pick it up and set it on its docking station. So, but since I'm home a lot, that's not really an issue. I just, when I hear that it's not running anymore, I go check and see what's going on and uh, I go from there. 
the one the Roomba I have this i3 it does not have mopping it's just a vacuum I understand that some of the newer models have mops as well I think that's pretty cool I would love to look into that in the future I was not really sure I was going to like the robot vacuum but I really like it and now I want it to mop for me as well could it also fold laundry <laughs> oh my gosh I follow the clean mama system and she in her system, you vacuum your house on Wednesdays. So I am happy to report that my Wednesdays have gotten so much pleasanter since I got this Roomba i3. I set it out on Wednesdays to vacuum and it vacuums the whole house. It's great, I love it. I will have it vacuum other days of the week as well. Pretty much every day of the week, I will find it a room to vacuum because there's like the constant sort of daily upkeep, the kitchen, for example, and that my back hallway where people are constantly coming in and coming out. I have the Roomba running in there every day and it has added so much peace of mind. Like, cause when you look at your floor and it's full of crumbs and it's dirty, you're just kind of like, ah. But when you look at your floor and it's clean and like, <laughs> And also you didn't have anything to do with that. Like some, some thing did it for you. Oh, it's awesome. It is a great feeling. I love it. I feel like I have a live-in maid. I need to think of a name for the Roomba. It kind of makes me think of little stick and the footstool that was like a dog or whatever. I can't think, I haven't come up with a name for it yet, but it just, it's, it's so cool. It's like living in the enchanted castle in Beauty and the Beast. <laughs> I just wish, really wish now that I had a robot that folded all my laundry for me, but I'm sure that somebody out there is working diligently on such a robot. So I'm going to be looking forward to that. What I have, you, you do have to manually empty out its dustbin yourself. Some of the more jazzy recent models, it'll like automatically do that for you. I don't really know how that works, but that would be kind of nice, but I don't mind emptying it out. It's very easy. It's just like push, dump, put it back. Things about it. I have had to clean out the rollers and the wheels quite often because they get my hair. <laughs> it's just mine because no one else in the family has hair this long yet and my girls will someday I suppose. Uh, it gets wound around the little bobbin things and it always needs to be like pulled out and cleaned. I'm glad it's picking up that hair. I don't mind cleaning it out but that's something I never really did ever with my other vacuum for whatever reason. I, maybe I just didn't ever look, I don't know. Worried about your Roomba sucking up things that it shouldn't. I would recommend you can't, before you set it in a room, I would just look around and do a quick sweep and get things up and off the floor and like bigger pieces, like little scrap, bigger things on the floor, pick them up. It, I've had the Roomba vacuum up Legos or like pieces of paper and then it just tends to stop and throw an error code because it needs the rollers to be freed up from the piece of paper or it thinks the bin is full because the bin is full of Legos. <laughs> so it's in your best interest to kind of do a quick look around first and get things up off the floor and then it'll do a much better job. It does really well going over cords and things. I was worried about it would get tangled up in like things that were plugged in, but it goes over the cords really easily. And I haven't had an issue with that, with it like wrapping up around the little rollers or anything like that. It's been great. Worried about it tumbling down the stairs. Don't worry about that. It has this like ledge sensor and it senses when it's getting to a ledge and it'll just stop itself. I tried this in my upstairs and sure enough, it stopped right at the top of my staircase and it just wouldn't move. So that's really great. So you don't have to worry about it tumbling downstairs. Gonna sum up. In sum, the Roomba has drastically improved my life because I don't have to vacuum anymore except for just little spot vacuuming here and there. It keeps the floors clean all the time instead of like just having, just doing like a once a week thing and then they kind of accumulate debris in the meantime, they're like now consistently clear and clean all the time, which like gives me this incredible sense of peace. There's just something about clean floors. I just love it. Very easy to use. I haven't monkeyed with the app at all, although you certainly can and you can train it 
to know your house's layout, but I just use it with its sensors and it does a great job. It does take about three hours for it to charge. I think it can do, I would say in my case, it can do between two and four rooms before it gets tired and needs to charge again. And then the charging takes, to do a complete charge, it takes about three hours. So, but, you know, which is a kind of a pain sometimes when you wanna get the whole house vacuumed and you're in a hurry. But on the other hand, there's no plugs to worry about. So it's great that it can go places and reach everywhere. Oh, that reminds me. This is probably my favorite thing about the Roomba. It's, you know, it's this very low disc shaped thing. So it can go under the furniture and does. And so underneath my couches and underneath my dresser in the kitchen, it's now getting really clean. And when it goes under there and sucks up the dust, it like pushes out the stuff that's made its way under there, like the little plastic cups that have rolled under there, my kids, <laughs> um, or other little toys and things that like pushes them out when it comes out. So I'm like, oh, thanks. And I gather up all this stuff. So I think the unders undersides of all of my furniture are way cleaner because let's face it, when I vacuumed, I, did I have the patience to get underneath the furniture? Mm, not every week, <laughs> for sure. So this is a, I feel like there's been so much more dust removed from our environment since we got the Roomba. I love it. I would totally recommend the Roomba i3. Like I said, I bought it refurbished based on the wire cutter's recommendation because it was like $200 refurbished on eBay with a coupon which was, that was all I wanted to spend on a vacuum. And secondly, they said it was a very sturdy model that would last a long time. It's been well worth the money for our family. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you like to watch videos about cleaning, I've got a whole series where I talk about how I follow Clean Mama's cleaning method that might be of interest to you. Like I said, I'm gonna re be replacing my Wednesday vacuum day with the Roomba, hooray! <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. This is Kathleen from oldworldfarmhouse.com. Please like this video. It helps my channel out. It helps the video spread to more people if you liked it. And let me know if you have any experience with any other kind of robot vacuums or if you have done, have you tried the mopping robot? I would really like to know how well that works. Thanks so much. Bye.